Hello everyone, it is Casey Gray, your homegirl broker associate, but that doesn't matter because you are just here to organize your business and the owner of basically Casey and the and the planning group for realtors on Facebook. So welcome to day 12 of 14 days to an organized business. We are doing our non-negotiables today. So I'm going to walk you through what a non-negotiable is, why it's fun to have them, why having them can make your business change for the better and how to set them. So in your business, you would need to have non-negotiables, whether that is something as small as messaging five people a day or doing a YouTube video or doing your weekly email. So what I like to do is break it up into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I like to keep the weekends as minimal as possible and something that you can schedule so that you're not having to work extra if you don't need to. So for me personally, my non-negotiable tasks, if you're not in the um, Facebook group, there'll be a link down below of like a little sheet that you can use to fill out. And um, the reason why I didn't put this in the planner is because sometimes they can change. So I didn't want to put anything in there that, you know, you want to often edit. So um, for Monday, my non-negotiable is a YouTube video, a property search post, and five note cards. So what that means is on Monday, I have to upload a YouTube video. And so this is typically something I schedule in advance. Um, a property search post, also something I schedule in advance, but it just keeps my scheduling on Facebook to an organized chaos. Um, so you're posting something to your website or, you know, if you don't, if your website doesn't have this capability, you can post something along the lines of, you know, houses under 300,000 in my area, DM me for a list. And you can just have an email set up ready for them to go with links to the MLS. But if you have a website, then you can just post a search for that week. So houses under 350, houses with the pool, whatever it might be. And then five note cards, so whether that's a thank you note or a happy birthday note or um, a gift card sent out for a referral, um, whatever you know you choose that week, that is something to do. And then Tuesday, we have a blog post. So um, my website gives us blog posts um, twice a week. Um, so then I can take that blog post and post it to Facebook. So that way, you know, people on Facebook are seeing the blog and then you can do a little thing about it on Instagram. But I usually just like to schedule it for both on Facebook Creator Studio. And then on Tuesday, the day after my video gets uploaded to YouTube, I schedule um, the video to post onto IGTV and Facebook, the actual video so that I can get some views on that. And then Tuesday is the day that I do my seller check-in. So any sellers, whether we're in contract or just on that MLS, I will check in and let them know what the update is, if any, and um, have a template saved in my email templates that says, you know, the property links to all of the different sites. And then that way I can update them quickly on, you know, how many views, how many saves on usually like Zillow and the MLS and realtor.com and you know YouTube views ad data if any then Wednesday is a free guide post so coffee and contracts the site that I use offers tons of guides and with my website I'm able to do what they call squeeze page a landing page where you offer that guide and people can sign up to receive it and then Wednesday could be your buyer email where you send out an email to all of your buyers just updating them on anything that's new on the market or um, just some helpful tips for navigating the process um, and then Wednesday also is 25 letters to a neighborhood. So I'll send out these pre-printed letters where I hand wrote one and then made copies of it. And it says, you know, hi, I'm trying to find the perfect home for my clients in this neighborhood, blah, blah, blah. For a buyer that I know really is pre-approved and ready to go and I'll decide where to send that to. And then 20, keeping it 25 a week allows you to do, you know, pick houses that you think will really work for them so you're not just sending them to random people. And then Thursday, a live video, and you can upload that straight to IGTV. Um, a property search post like we did on Monday, and then a buyer check-in on Thursday. So just actually reaching out via text call um, to your buyers, letting them know you're there for them if they have any questions. And then Friday, we do the weekend guide um, or and then weekly email, and you can include that into your weekly weekend guide. And then I weekly email. You can include your weekend guide into your weekly email. And then I also include, you know, what I've done throughout the week. Um, 
if anything has sold, um, a post about a dog from the animal shelter and you know, whatever else is you feel like you need to put in there and then check my QuickBooks on Friday. And then Saturday is just a free guide post so I can schedule that. And then Sunday is a personal post to Instagram and Facebook. So just like something about family or personal life, whatever you're doing. So there are tons of different things that you can choose to create for your non-negotiables. Like I said, there will be a PDF in the description box that you can download to kind of fix figure out what your non-negotiables are. A lot of these things, to be really honest with you, I haven't been doing since having the baby because it's been like bare minimum choosing the things that help my clients and get me clients. So not all of these things get done every week, but the goal is to have intentions, to have things set so that if you do fall off, you can easily get back on and some things to keep up with your business, to keep in touch with your sphere, to stay accountable is super important. So figure out your non-negotiables and let me know what they are if you need help staying accountable for. And thanks so much for watching. We're almost done. You are almost there. I'm so proud of you. Keep going and I will see you in the next video.